the Octonauts and the Vampire Squid. Reporting for my training exercise, Captain. Very good, Peso. The guppy is ready, Cap. Thanks, Tweak. Now, let's go over the practice plan one more time. First, I pilot the guppy through the twilight zone all the way down into the midnight zone. I, The darkest place on Earth. A place so deep that the sun can't shine there. I know. It's always nighttime in the midnight zone. But you can hit that button to turn on the super bright lights. Right. Then, after I get to the midnight zone, I land on the seabed and come right back up. As fast as I can. You get to go to the midnight zone by yourself. Captain, I volunteer to go on this training exercise with him. Peso has to do this alone, Quasi. I have to learn to make the trip to the midnight zone by myself so that I can help the animals who live there. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Well, watch out for the vampire squid while you're down there. The vampire squid? What's that? A creature of the midnight zone, that's for sure. He wears a big cape covered in sharp spikes. His eyes glow in the dark. He squirts a horrible slime. And he lives in a haunted castle in the deepest, darkest part of the Midnight Zone. Don't worry, Peso. There are a lot of strange creatures down there, but no haunted castles. Now, let's begin. Ready, Captain. Tweak, open the Octo hatch. Please. You got it, Peso. Barnacles to Peso. Peso here. You're doing great. Just keep those flippers steady on the helm. Flippers steady, Captain. It's really dark now, and I'm not even close to the bottom. Well, that's better. What's that sound? All I have to do is touch down at the bottom and come back up as fast as I can. That sound again. I, I made it by myself, all alone. All right. Time to go. Oh, 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 it hurts. Hurts? Uh, are you hurt? <laughs> yes, and nobody cares. Oh. I care. Hold on. Peso to Octopod. Peso to Octopod. I found a creature in the Midnight Zone who needs help. Repeat, I found creature. Midnight Zone, help! Help? Octopod to Peso. Come in, Peso. Sorry, Captain. Sometimes the radio doesn't work very well way down in the Midnight Zone. Hmm. Keep trying, Dashy. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. What seems to be the problem? Um... Excuse me. Oh. Ah! Wait, don't be afraid. I'm here to help. Captain, I've lost contact with Peso. He could need our help. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost contact with Peso in the Midnight Zone. Captain, I'm ready to go after him. Right. The Duck B is ready to go. Please, I can help you feel better. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick. Really? Yes. Oh my, your eyes glow in the dark. Those aren't my eyes. Those are just a couple of lights I have on the top of my head. I can turn them off when I want to. Oh. 
So those are your eyes. Well, it helps to have big eyes when you need to see in the dark. Oh! oh Where does it hurt? Oh, it's one of my spikes. Uh, oh! Oh! Spikes? I don't see any spikes. Just like the vampire squid. It feels like it's near the top. See it? I see it. It looks like it's poking you. Ow! So, do you think you can help me? Yes. I have just the thing to make it as good as new. What are you going to do with those things? They're just tweezers. I'll use them to straighten out the spike. Oh, no, no, it'll hurt even more. I promise I'll be very gentle. <laughs> promise? Promise. Huh? Hey, so! <laughs> Are you all right? Ah, I'm fine. Never better. Are you all right? I think I was just slimed by the vampire squid. The vampire squid? A fast, a trail of slime. Stand back. I'll go after him. Wait, he's hurt. He needs our help. Quasi? Quasi, are you okay? Quasi, can you hear me? There's no answer, Tweak. I need to go after them. I'll get the gup team ready, Cap. <laughs> What's that? That's the vampire squid. Yow! Stay back. He's hurt. He's easily frightened, so please, follow me and stay quiet and calm. All right, matey. But I'm ready to pounce if I have to. Don't be afraid. No surprises this time. <laughs> Promise? Promise. Peso! Quasi! <laughs> 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 Are you two all right? We've been slimed by a vampire squid. I've got to help him. He's hurt. Captain, the vampire squid is easily scared. It'll be much better if I go after him by myself. All right. Peso, we're here if you need us. <laughs> Please, don't swim away. It's just me, Peso. <laughs> I'm too tired to move, and my spike hurts more than ever. You've had quite a scare. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, 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 my spike! But it feels better. Good as new. You fixed it. You're amazing. <laughs> Just doing my job. Here's a sticker for being such a brave patient. Would you like to meet my friends now? I don't know. They're not as scary as they seem, I promise. Come on. Okay. Captain Barnacles, Quasi, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, the Vampire Squid. Where's your cape covered in spikes? You mean this? Oh, yeah, that. This is not a cape. It's a webbing between my tentacles, and it helps me hide when I'm scared. <gasps> and when I'm really scared... Oh, <laughs> oh, we know! You slime! Oops, uh, sorry, Octonauts. I got a little carried away. Anyway, thank you for fixing my spy. Goodbye! Bye! Bye. Farewell! That was a lot more than a training exercise today, Peso. Good work. Just doing my job, Captain. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick. Even if it does mean getting slimed. <laughs> <laughs> the Octonauts and the Giant Spider Crab. Just look at that, Octonauts. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Looks like our kind of place, Captain. And best of all, this whole area is still unexplored. It's just out there waiting for us. Well, Quasi's going to be the first to explore the unexplored tonight. <sighs> it's a bit late to start exploring now, Quasi. We can wait till morning.
Morning? A pirate never waits till morning. Not when there's an adventure to be had at night. You're not just a little bit scared of what might be out there? Scared? This pirate isn't afraid of anything. Not even sharks. Ha! I laugh at them. How about poisonous jellyfish? Not scary to me. What about vampire squids? Vampire squids? Ah, let me at them. Snakes? Nope. Bats? No. Scorpions? Yeah! No match for quasi. Uh, how about spiders? Sp uh, spiders? <laughs> Luckily, there are no spiders in the ocean, matey. Um, there aren't, are they, Captain? Don't worry. Spiders only live on land. Good. Well then, as I was saying, this pirate is afraid of nothing. All right, but be careful out there. Yo-ho, yo-ho! It's out to sea I go! Hmm. Fire squids and sharks. <laughs> I'm not scared of them. Oh, that's strange. What? Who's there? <gasps> and what's this? If it's a sea plant, it's a funny looking one. <laughs> Here's another one. Huh? Wait a minute. These aren't plants. They're more like legs. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Eight legs! Just like a... Spider! Yow! You're not gonna believe what I saw back there. It was creepy. It was crawly. It was... it was this big. No, it was bigger than that. It was huge! What was it? A vast! It was a giant spider! And it made a strange noise like this. But, 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 Captain, I thought you said there were no spiders under the sea. Captain, you've got to see this. There's something big out there, and it looks like it has eight legs. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll get the good thing ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know. It doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know, you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Yeah! Yeah! It's the spider! Hello out there. We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our guff? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Chip and Swimpy alive. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of 
course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch! No. It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honor as octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Could you, could you go? <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull, and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. Oh, goody, 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 goody. Ball. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> ah, at last, I'm free. <laughs> Yay! Yay! He did it. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Say, would you like to come to my birthday party? The Octonauts never say no to a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. I've never seen so many kiddies and grandkiddies. Grandpa, you made it! Ah, yes. Thanks to my new Octonaut friends. I got here just in time. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Oh. <laughs> hey, uh, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> now I know how that giant clam must have felt. <laughs> Guess Quasi's no longer scared of spiders. Spider crabs, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> The Octonauts and the Giant Kelp Forest. Is the gut bee ready to go, Tweak? Yep. I put in an eject button just like you wanted, Quasi. It'll help you escape from the gup in an emergency. No! Press this. And you'll be bounced out of gut beef faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Time to take a ride and test out the new button. Yow! Now, hold on. You need to know how to work this thing. I press the button, I get bounced out of the gut. Easy. First, you turn off the engine, then you press the button. Hi, I'm me, hearty. Now open the octo hatch. If you don't turn off the engine first, 
got me will drive away without you. Got it. Now let's go. You forgot, didn't you? Forgot? No! Um, forgot what? All right, all right. I forgot to turn off the engine before I pushed the eject button. And now I've lost my favourite cup. Captain, there's no time to lose. We've got to find it. Tweak, sound the Octo Alert. Octonaut to the HQ. Octonauts, the cup B is lost. And I'm the one who lost her, me hearties. The first thing to do is to work out where to look for her. Dashi, check the gup finder. It should show us where the gup B is. I'm already on it, Captain. <gasps> there she is! But it looks like it's stuck in the middle of something very large. Shellington, we may need you to help us figure out what this thing is. Tweak, we'll need the gut sea right away. To the launch bay. Almost ready, Cap. I can hardly wait to see the gut bee again, me hearties. Look, I found some pictures I took of you in the gut bee. I painted those shark teeth on her myself. We've won races together and made thrilling escapes together. <sighs> There's just no other gut like the gut bee, mateys. Don't worry, we'll get her back. This shouldn't take long. Is the gut sea ready, Tweak? Ah, ready, Cap. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Captain, it looks like we're getting close to the gut B. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. <gasps> Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest. Hmm, the gup finder shows that the gup bee must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh, Quasi? Oh. Let's go, Shellington. Amazing. Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gup bee in a kelp forest this big. But according to the gup finder, we're close. This way! Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest! Orange shark? Hold on! That must be the gut bee! Come back here! Hey, what did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest, that's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Aye, matey, but they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look, 
Stand back or else? Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon, and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. Look, now we're even closer to the gut bee. I'm coming for you, gut bee! Yeah. Hey, what's happening, guys? A shovel-nosed guitar fish! Oh, no. Does this one spit as well? No. He mostly hides under the sand. I knew that. We're looking for our lost gup. It's called the Gup Bee, and it's bright orange. Have you seen it? <clears throat> our gup finder shows that it should be right around here, but we can't find it. Hmm. I don't know about any gup. But when you feel down, it helps to look up. Oh, the scurvy creatures in this place are no help at all. We'll never find it. It helps to look up. <gasps> Wait, we do need to look up. Captain, a kelp forest is like a tall building with many floors. Ah, and so far, we've only looked for the gut bee down here. But it could be somewhere up there. Octonauts, let's go! The Gup Finder shows that the Gup B should be right here. Then why can't we see it? Where could it be? You! Yeah, you! <laughs> Who said that? Up here! <laughs> Up where? Right here, silly! <laughs> where? Up here! <laughs> here! Captain, the kelp leaves are talking to me! Kelp leaves? Talking? They say that the gut bee's right here! Oh, but where? Look, there's nothing here but kelp! <laughs> it's... it's... The Gup Bee! Yes! Did you miss me? Ah, I missed you too. We told you it was right in front of you. You're not a kelp leaf. I'm a kelp fish. We're all kelp fish. <laughs> They do look just like leaves of kelp. That makes it easy for us to hide whenever we want in the kelp forest. Come along now. Playtime is over. Hi, Mum. We really fooled them. <laughs> they thought we were kelp leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, children. Octonaut, let's get the gut bee out of this forest. Yow! Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> It's good to be back in my favourite gun. You just put your feet up, Quasi, but not on the eject button. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, very funny. <laughs> the Octonauts and the Dwarf Lantern Shark. Whale sharks dive down to deep waters only once a day. I can't wait to find out what it does down there. He's going down, Captain. Then so are we. Shellington, what are those things? They're krill, Peso. That must be what the whale shark comes down here for. The krill? Yes. That tiny little shrimp that the whale shark eats. Let's take a closer look. Aye, we'll have to. They're mighty small. We'll use the octogoggles, Quasi. They'll make those tiny krill look big. Activate octogoggles. Flappity flippers. Hmm, fascinating. Whoa! Amazing! Ah! 
Hey, there's something glowing over there. What is that? Flappity flippers! A giant shark! Hmm? Are you talking to me? Wait a minute. My octo goggles. Hey, you're not a gigantic shark. You're tiny. Yeah, I, I get that a lot, but even though I am small and I glow, I'm uh, still a shark, okay? Uh, ah. oh. Oh. What's wrong? This thing is stuck to my back and I can't get it off. It makes it hard to uh, swim. Don't worry. You've just got a sticky shell stuck to your back. I can help you. I'm a medic. I help any sea creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Heads up, Peso. Whale shark coming through. <laughs> Little shark, where are you? I've got to help him, but first I've got to find him. Captain Barnacles, I just met a tiny little shark, and he had a shell on his back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, matey. What did you see, Peso? A shark, a teeny tiny glowing shark. He was hurt and he needed help, but the waves from the big whale shark knocked him way down deep and I don't know where he is. Well then, we'd better find him. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonauts, there's a shark out there who needs our help. Hey, so what did the shark look like? Well, he's tiny, about as big as my flipper. I've never heard of a shark that small. Well, sharks do come in all different sizes. Indeed, there are huge whale sharks like the one you follow today, and also much smaller sharks. Yeah. Hmm. But none of my old books mention a shark as small as the one you saw, Peso. See? Your eyes must have been playing tricks on you. I know what I saw. It was a teeny tiny little shark. And if he was swept downwards, we'll have to look for him in deeper, darker waters. Come on, we've got a tiny shark to find. Barnacles out. How are we supposed to find anything down here in the dark? Peso said the little shark glows, so let's shut up our lights so we can see if anything's glowing out there. Shiver me whiskers! He looks like outer space. Each of those lights is a different sea creature. One of them must be the little shark. If he was swept down this way, he probably didn't get far. We'll have to split up. But be careful. It's so dark down here that it's easy to get lost. Deep sea suits on, everyone. Aye, 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 Captain. Aye, Captain. Uh, excuse me, are you... Oh, you're not a tiny shark at all. You're an anglerfish. <laughs> you got that right, pal? Ah! Oh. These are no sharks, that's for sure. Huh? Mm, just a glowing jellyfish. Oh, that one's really bright. Nope, hatchet fish. Where are you, little shark? Where am I? Peso to Captain Barnacles. I seem to have got separated from a group. Where are you? Can anybody hear me? Oh no, my radio isn't working. I must be too far away from the others. Oh, is that the lantern shark? No, it's much bigger and brighter, and it's coming right at me. Yikes! Ahoy, Peso! Quasi! Why are you swimming upside down? I'm not upside down. You're upside down. You got that wrong, pal. Huh? Ah. Come on, Peso. We need to go find the other octonauts. But we haven't found the tiny shark yet. Peso, I've chased after lots of strange creatures, and the truth is, sometimes you find them, and sometimes you don't. But this one needs our help. Well, if we don't find Captain Barnacles and the others, we're going to need help too. Righto. Let's stick together. I'll look for the shark, while you look for the octonauts. Shellington, have you seen Peso or Quasi? No, just lots of glowing fish, and no little shark either. Peso, Quasi, come.
Come in. Their radios must not be working. I hope they're not lost. We'd better... Oh, what is that? Wait for me, Captain! A tiny shark! Oh, thank goodness you saw my flashing. I'm glad it helped you find me. We lantern sharks use our lights to find each other. Fascinating! Well, I've never seen a shark as small as you. <laughs> Everybody says that. Oh, this shell on my back is really bogging me. We can help with that. Well, not me, but our medic. He's called Peso. Peso? He's my pal. Where is he? Well, uh, I'm afraid he's out there. Somewhere. We've got to find him. I can see pretty well in the dark, so I can help look for him. Oh, it's getting hard for me to swim with this shell. Don't worry. I can carry you. Okay. See anything? <sighs> Look. Something's flashing. Hello. Over here. This way, matey. <sighs> they can't see us. If only we had a flashing light. That's it. We do. Huh? Now that's what I call a bright idea. Oh, I hope they see us. Hmm? Hi, it's working. Hey, so, Quasi, is that you? You found us. Hola, Peso. And you found the little shark. Well, shiver me whiskers. It is a tiny shark. Let's get you fixed up. What kind of tiny creature are you anyway, matey? I am a dwarf lantern shark, and I know I'm little, but I am still a shark. <laughs> oh. There. Good as new. <sighs> Thanks, Peso. I sure am glad we found each other. How about a picture? Take good care of yourself. It's a big ocean out there. Will do. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye, me Bye. It's called a dwarf lantern shark. Of course. It wasn't in any of my old books, because you're one of the first explorers to find one. This is the smallest shark in the world. A dwarf ah. lantern shark. Well, it just goes to show you, sharks come in all different shapes and sizes. Just like octonauts do. <laughs> <laughs> the octonauts and the remipedes. Remind me again, Shellington. What do you call those creatures you're looking for? Huh? Ooh. Remipedes, Captain. They're very unusual creatures. Now, this area is crawling with them. Well, before you head out, let me just show you how to drive the Gup D one more time. Oh, I'll be fine, Captain. I've seen a Gup D in action. Yes, but Shellington, you've never driven her yourself. But I know how it starts. You just press this. <gasps> no, not yet. You have to close the windscreen first. OK, now you can start the engine. Well done. Now be careful. Steady as she goes. Don't worry, Captain. I know what I'm doing. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Oh. Remember, take it easy. Very easy. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Tweak, we'd better keep an eye on the Gup D, just in case Shellington gets into trouble. Agree, Kip. I'll check the Gup Finder. So far, so good. <sighs> Let's see, Remipedes. Um, well, they swim on their backs, lots of legs, long antennae, and live in dark sea caves. Dark sea caves. Oh, now where can I find a dark sea cave? Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! 
Investigate. Uh, Cap, Shellington has crashed. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, Shellington has crashed the Gup D. If anything's happened to him, I'm ready. The Gup C is ready too, Cap. Peso, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. You got it, Cap. Good luck. Amazing! Look at those stalactites and these stalagmites. Huh? Oh, you're not a remipede. You're a worm. <laughs> I must investigate further. Avast! There is the cup D! What's left of it? But where's Shellington? Hmm? A sea cave! Do you think he could be in there? Let's find out. Ooh. This cave just goes on and on. What was that? Huh? I must be seeing things. Hmm. Now, which way to go? Huh? Sounds like there's something down there. Magnifying glass. Oh no, we've got to find him. Caves are dangerous places, like mazes. Easy to get into, very difficult to find a way out. We'll need to go in with a guide rope so we can find our way back. I kept it. Let's use this. Good thinking. Octonauts, let's do this. Ready. Now! What was that? Hello? Is someone there? Don't be frightened. My name's Shellington. I'm an octonaut. Hello? Hello? Ah! What are you doing here? This isn't your cave. I'm a scientist. I was exploring. Oh, you're a remipede. You bet I am. And so are they. <gasps> oh, my. Gentlemen, let's give him the smell test. Assume circle formation. One, two, three, and smell. <laughs> ah, you're not from around here, are you? Oh no, which way now? Captain, I say we settle this the pirate way. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a pirate by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. That's the one then. This place is like a maze. I'm glad we have this guide rope so we can find our way back out, Captain. Yes. Especially since we've gone so deep inside. Aye, but where's Shellington? You'd think we'd have found him by now, mateys. That doesn't sound good. The rope! Yow! <laughs> Were you following me the whole time? You bet I was. We don't get a lot of visitors in our cave, so... We'd like to know what you're doing here. Well, as I said, I'm just exploring. Now that you've come this far, how are you planning on finding your way out? Well, 
Oh, um, I, I hadn't thought about that. Um, I might need a little help from you, actually. What makes you think I could help? Well, you're a Renipede. You live your whole life finding your way around dark sea caves. Hmm, you got that right? And you have an excellent sense of smell. Right again. You do know a thing or two about Remipedes. Uh, hold on. I smell something else. I smell more visitors. Three of them. <gasps> We'll have to find Shellington soon, or these torches will run out. But how are we going to get out? We'll have to retrace our steps. This way. What's that? Octonauts! Shellington! Are you okay? I'm fine. I've discovered a very large group of renipedes. Um, hello there. Hello. So, I bet you're lost too, just like your friends here. I'm afraid so. We keep taking the wrong turn. Now we'll never find our way out. Why not? Because it's so dark. That makes no difference to me. I am blind. Blind? But how do you find your way around? The same as any remipede. We use our other senses. Smelling, touching, listening. Of course. And if the Remipedes lead the way... We can listen and follow their voices. And we'll find our way out. <laughs> you sure will. Octonauts, follow those Remipedes. Come on, this way. Thank you, Remipedes. No problem. I'd be happy to show you around this cave again any time. Okay, let's head for home. Okay, Captain. I'll follow you in the gap. Oh, what happened to the gap D? I uh, think you may have bumped into a few things on the way here, Shellington. I think it's better if I drive home. I'm sure I could do better this time, Captain. It's just there's a couple of tricky turns along here. I wonder if Quasi would let me drive the Guppy. Uh, doubt it somehow. Oh, I'm much better now, Captain. The Octonauts and the Eel Ordeal. Everyone keep a lookout. Captain, it looks like they're heading our way. We should be able to see them out of the window any minute now. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the eels are on the move. They should be here any minute. This only happens one time each year, so we don't want to miss it. <gasps> there they are. Eels. <gasps> lots and lots of them. Let me get a picture. Yeah, they're in a big hurry to get somewhere, but where? They're on their way from the ocean up the river to the lake. It's a dangerous journey. No one knows exactly how they do it. Octonauts, our mission is to follow these eels and find out. Shellington. Thank you, Captain. Every year, a group of young eels travels from the ocean where they were born up the river to this lake where they will live. That looks easy enough. Ah, but there are all kinds of dangers along the way, Quasi. Rocks, rough bumpy water, sudden twists and turns in the river. I'd like to try that trip myself. And that's why you'll be driving the Guppe with me on this mission. Aye, aye, Captain. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the launch bay. Come on, mateys. Those slippery eels have a head start, and we've got to catch up. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You've got it, Cam. We've already made it into the river. We should catch up with the eels in no time, Captain. I hope things don't get too bumpy for us or for them. Where be those eels? Ah, there they are. Let's go. No one's ever followed the eels moving up the river this closely before. 
We're going upstream, and the water keeps pushing us back. Quasi, I'm gonna need your help. Aye, aye, Captain. Ow. Steer with me. One, two, three. <sighs> Thanks, Quasi. Now, let's catch up with those slippery little fellas. Eels are swimming fast. Aye, but well, we can go as fast as they can. We're gaining on them, Captain. Wow, getting past these rocks is no problem for these eels. Amazing. Anywhere they can go, we can go too. Barnacles, are you all right? We're all right, Dashie. We're just going for a little spin. <laughs> oh no, I hope they're not hurt. Barnacles to the octopod. We're all okay, but the cuphe has, um, well, crashed. But how will you keep going? There's no reason we can't swim after him, Captain. Good idea. Let's go. Barnacles out. Now, where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Jumping jellyfish. The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land. Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating. Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing! Uh, ooh. Help! Help! Did somebody say something? Help! Where are you? Down here! Hello there. Are you stuck? Yes, and I really need to get out. <laughs> Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on. Hold me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. <clears throat> oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurts. <laughs> I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry? My friends are getting farther and farther away, and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's my tail. It hurts so much I can't move. <sighs> you need a bandage. <laughs> that was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now, I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help getting back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye, we'll take you all the way to that lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye, Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. Ah. That water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. Got it. Grab a hold. Let's
Let's go. A cave. We're going through. We're really, really close now. All we have to do is swim through that. Yeah! We have to swim through that. But we're almost there, I promise. The lake is just on the other side. I really have to get there. We're going in. Follow me. Okay? Just fine. The lake is so calm and beautiful. Hi, and full of squirmy eels. Where were you? We lost you. We were worried. These are my friends. Oh, thanks for getting me here. Well, you young eels certainly work hard to get where you're going. I admire your determination. It's what we do. And when we're old enough, we'll head back down the river to the ocean and have baby eels of our own. And when those babies are old enough, they'll make their journey up the river. Aye, and we'll get to have this adventure all over again. Crashing the dock, going through tunnels, swimming through rapids and over rocks. Right, Peso? Mm. If you say so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> the Octonauts and the Crab and Urchin. I'm on my way down to see who's at the door. Who could be knocking at this hour? I'll let you know after I answer it. Why don't I answer it? Mm, thanks, but I've got it. Last one to the door's a rotten fish head, Captain. You're on. What seems to be the trouble? OK, look, there's some kind of creature back at the reef that's half crab, half sea urchin and totally loud. None of us sea snails can get any sleep. We're, like, totally stressing. We need someone big to come to the reef and ask them to quiet them down. I'm, I'm on, on it. it. I'm happy to take care of this, Quasi. You go back to sleep. That's kind of you, Captain, but you go back to sleep. No, you go back to sleep. Sleep? Pirates are made for nighttime adventures. Look, I'm sure you could handle it, but I'm not sure you should handle it. Aye, but if I could handle it, then I would handle it, which means I should handle it, All because... All right, we'll both go. Fine. We don't need to wake everybody up. Quasi, sound the octo alert, but just in the launch bay. Tweak to the launch bay. <laughs> Tweak, this little snail needs our help. We need to head out to the reef. <sighs> aye, aye, Cap. I'll drive. So will I. 
We'll see you at the reef. And I'll get there first. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. Tweak, open the octo hatch. <laughs> Instead of just going fast, I picked the straightest route. Now, show us the way. Over there by the rocks, eh? I, I don't see a point. The point is that I'm always the one protecting you. Well, I'm always the one who finds all the food. Why, well, you just sit there. I don't just sit here. I do stuff. I protect you. I get... I, I... Wow! The snail was right! It is half crab and half sea urchin. Hmm. Let's call Shellington and find out if he's ever seen anything like this before. <laughs> uh, uh, hello? Sorry to wake you, Shellington, but we need your help. Take a look at this. What is this strange creature? Uh, oh, well, Captain, it's two separate creatures. It's a crab with a sea urchin stuck to its shell. But why are they stuck together like that? Uh, uh, because of symbiosis. Symbi what? Symbiosis. When two creatures live very close together because they need each other for different reasons. The urchin needs the crab for food, and the crab... <sighs> Needs the urchin for protection. Right. Thanks, Shellington. I put food on the table. What do you do? I eat it. I'll just Where ask the crab now? and the urchin to be quiet. What? Easy. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Crab, Mr. Urchin. We're lost, we're lost. We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. Uh -huh. You said go left. I said go right. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Did? Did? Did it. Mr. Crab, Mr. Urchin, there's a problem. He's, He's the, the problem. problem. You're the problem. I'm not the problem. Yes, you are. You're the problem. Now, do you see what I mean? It's a problem. You can't even spell problem. You don't appreciate the fact that I carry you around and feed you all day. And you don't appreciate the fact that I keep you safe. Oi, keep it down where we are. Ah! Ah, run away! Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. I protect you from troublemakers like that. I'm sorry, I, I don't see your point. I got a lot of points. I'm an urchin. Hold on, please. You two are so loud that the sea snails can't get any sleep. Eh, sorry. You see, you're too loud. No, you're too loud. I am not too loud. Yes, you are. Oh, Captain, maybe loud. these two would be better apart. They are two separate creatures, but they need each other for food and protection. Symbiosis, remember? Aye, but maybe they really just need a break from each other. A, a break, break from, from each, each other. other? Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I'd be fine without you. Um, no, I'll be fine without you. Uh, 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 oh, I'm free. <laughs> no, I'm free. Ha! Yeah, hear that? Quiet. It's sleepy time for snails. Thank you for your help, Octonaut. <laughs> Enjoy your sleep, little sea snail. Are you both all right on your own? Uh, well, uh, I could use a lift to the other side of the reef. You know, a uh, fresh start and all that. Captain, I'll give him a lift. <laughs> Good luck. I don't need a thing. I I'm just fine on my own. Oi, you, get off my rock. Oh, yeah? Talk to my pointy friend about that, buddy. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah, that's more like it. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, uh, well, no. When I had that spiky urchin on my shell, I, I look scary. Nobody mess with me. I suppose I don't look scary anymore. I'll help you learn how to stand up for yourself. Really? This looks like a nice rock for you, me hearty. There, too crowded. There wouldn't be enough food for me. Okay, uh, what about that one? You kidding me? Too small. There won't be enough food for me there either. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's keep moving. You just need to make yourself look big and strong. Now you try it. 
Here. Oh, dear. Uh, nearly. You know, when I travel with the crab, he always shared his food. And what about you? You got any snacks for me? Uh, no. Unbelievable. No snacks? Well, what are you going to do about that? You said you're going to help me, so what's your plan, buddy? Uh, I don't have a plan. But I do know someone who's always good at coming up with one. Let's go and find Captain Barnacles. <laughs> now, raise your claws and say, Grr. Grr? Oh, I'm no good at this. It's all about attitude and confidence. And my friend Quasi could show you a thing or two about that. He doesn't let anything get in his way. Come on, let's go and find him. I missed you, buddy. I really did. So, you're happy to be back together? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize until now how much I need you. And I didn't realize how much I need you. Thanks, Thanks for your help, Octonauts. See ya! Ah! 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 Run away! Hi. Those two are better off together than apart, Captain. That's symbiosis. Yow! Race you back to the Octopod? Hey, <laughs> you're on. The Octonauts and the Enemy Anemones. <laughs> oh, no thanks, Turnip. It's almost lunchtime. Guys, the captain! Octonauts, we've just spotted a beautiful beach. Now, we've all been working hard, so how about we take the afternoon off and have a picnic? All right. Sounds great. Delightful. We'll find a good spot, mateys. And then you can join us on the beach. Octonauts, prepare for a picnic. Captain, I think Tunip just said that the Vegemals will make your favourite dessert, vanilla kelp pudding. Thanks, Tunip. Be sure to make plenty for everyone, because you can never have too much pudding. Barnacles out. <sighs> Fresh air, sunshine and sand. Ah. <sighs> Can't wait to kick off me boots and dig me paws in the sand. It's so quiet and peaceful and... Are you hurt? Ah. Don't be afraid, little crab. What's wrong? It's my leg. It really hurts. I'm Peso. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Let me take a look. Right. Here. Hmm. You need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, thanks. That's much better. How did you hurt your leg? I fell off a rock when I was running away from the blob. <gasps> What's the blob? It's a thing that grows bigger. And bigger and bigger. How big does it get? So big that it pushed me right off the rock where I live. If you don't get out of the way, it stings you. I got away, but my crab friends are still there, trapped in a hole in the rock. I have to go back and save them from the blob. You won't have to do it alone. We'll help you. Aye, matey. We're not afraid of the blob. Oh, wow. First you fixed my leg, and, uh, and now you're going to help me and my friends. Who, who are you guys? We are the Octonauts. Barnacles to Dashy. Dashy here, Captain. I'm afraid it's not picnic time just yet. We need to take care of an emergency on the beach first. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be at HQ if you need us. Don't worry, Tunip. You can still make pudding. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
almost to the rock where my friends are trapped. <gasps> there it is. The blob. That's the blob, me hearty. It's a puny little thing. Yeah, but one blob can become two blobs. And two blobs can become four blobs. <laughs> How it gets so big. Look! Flappity flippers. That's where my friends are trapped. Barnacles to Shellington. Shellington here, Captain. Have you ever heard of creatures that can split in two and make copies of themselves? Why, yes, Captain. Those are aggregate anemones. Aggravating enemies? No, no, no. Aggregate anemones. They can make lots and lots of copies of themselves. And when two groups of these anemones meet, they fight over space. They have special stingers for attacking each other. No! 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 Uh-oh! It's hit the Octo Alert! Are you all right? Captain, we were just attacked by... Oh, no. The radio's broken. Mm. Vanilla kelp pudding. Mm. Delicious. We've lost contact with the octopod. Ah! I bet these anemones are trying to take over the octopod just like they took over this rock. Hmm. Dashi said they were under attack. We need to get back there right away. Uh, don't leave me here alone. We won't. Peso, stay here with our crab friend, but don't move. Quasi and I will be back as soon as we can. Yes, Captain. Quasi, let's go. Into the gut. Don't worry. We'll help your friends just as soon as the Captain gets back. <laughs> oh, no. They're making more copies of themselves. Oh, my. There's a different group of anemones on the other side of the rock. Ooh. They're getting closer. <sighs> I don't see anyone in HQ. Just a whole lot of blobs. All right. We're going in. Yeah, it's quiet. Too quiet. I don't like all this quiet. Then, why are we whispering? Hmm. Oh. Shiver me, whistia! Sh sorry, Captain. What? We're having a bit of a, a pudding problem. Pudding? pudding? Mm -hmm. Well, at least it's a tasty problem. Aye, Captain. But we need to get back to the beach to help Peso. Don't worry, Cap. We'll get this pudding problem fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. All right, Tweak. Quasi, into the gob. Again. Peso, we're on our way. Hold your position. I don't think I have much of a choice, Captain. Ow! They're stinging each other. Ow! 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 That really hurt. Oh, yeah, I stung you because you stung me. You stung me first. No, you stung me first. Ow! 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 Got you last. Ow! Good. Got you last. Ow! 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 My friends, they'll get stung. Ow! 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 Stop! Anemones, please stop. Stinging each other. This rock belongs to us, and they've got to go. We've got to go. They've got to go. So you're fighting for a home? We get to stay here because we were here first. We were here first. Actually, this little crab and his friends were here first. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Just coming through Thank you very much. Which means both of you are on their rock. Oh, oh, well, we have to live somewhere. What about us? We have to live somewhere too. Let's work out a way for everyone to share this rock. 
Why don't you anemones move back and stay on this side of the rock, and you anemones stay on this side, and both of you keep the middle free for the crabs. And please, no more stinging. We'll do it if they do it. We'll do it. High five! Ouch! Now let me see if I have something to make your stings feel better. Yeah, they really hurt. I bet mine hurt more. No, mine do. I've got a Peso. Yeah, I've got a red. Are you okay? Everything's fine, Captain. Peso stopped the Battle of the Blobs. Good work, Peso. But what about the other blobs back at the Octopod, Captain? Oh, don't worry, Peso. Aye, they're not the stinging kind. Now this is a blob of pudding. <laughs> Octonauts, activate spoons. There's plenty for everyone. Dig in. Come on, dig in. The Octonauts and the Slime Eels. Ah, this spyglass is no good. It's supposed to help me see things far away, but I can't make out what that big shape is. Besides, we're so far down, it's dark as night. Good thing the Octoscope can see in the dark. Can you give us a better picture of what's out there, Dashie? Aye, aye, Captain. It looks like a ship of some kind. <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! Unless I miss me guess, that's the pirate shipwreck of Calico Jack himself! Calico, Calico who? Calico Jack. He was me grandfather, and the finest cat pirate ever to roam the seven seas. And he had a golden spyglass. The spyglass was passed down from one member of me family to the next. But before it could pass down to me, Calico Jack's ship sank in the North Atlantic Ocean. And that golden spyglass sank with it. The North Atlantic Ocean? But that's where we are now. Quasi. Do you really think that could be the pirate ship of Calico Jack out there? Aye, Captain. Then let's go and investigate. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a mysterious ship out there that may have belonged to Quasi's grandfather, Calico Jack. Our mission is to explore the shipwreck and help Quasi find his grandfather's spyglass. Peso, Dashi, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Can't you go any faster, Captain? Quasi, that shipwreck has been down there for years. It'll still be there in a few minutes. Oh. Look, everyone. There it is. Well, Quasi, do you think it's Calico Jack's ship? That's got to be a carving of your grandfather. He even looks like you. Let's go inside. Yeah! Huh? Hold on, Quasi. Huh? This may have been a pirate ship once, but now she's home to hundreds of plants and animals. So, Octonauts, be extra careful. We don't want to disturb anything. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Have you got that, Quasi? Quasi? I wonder where that spyglass might be. Yeah! Oh, spiky sea urchins! Treasure chest! I just 
just know that spyglass is inside. The spyglass. Quasi, what happened? I found the spyglass, but before I could grab it, I got slimed. Who goes there? We may not be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, Dag Nabbit. Uh oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Two! No! It was me grandfather's, and it should be mine! But Quasi! Three! Okay, boys. Let him have it! Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins and tangly seaweed. Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slime eel want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Calico Jack. Spyglass. It's mine. 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 The spyglass is mine! <sighs> I'm not leaving without that spyglass. Um. Big grandfather spyglass at last. and more, eh? Quasi! Yeah! I finally had me grandfather's spyglass, till this wooden beam fell down and trapped me. I can't move it without bringing the whole ship down. Didn't we warn you to clear out of here and never come back? Ah, you caught me, slime eel. I suppose you're gonna slime me again. Well, go ahead. Mm. That's it. You're right. <clears throat> Go ahead, slime him. I dare you. What? But my pleasure. You call that sliming someone? <laughs> you missed him. Yeah, well, I can't see. Remember, Captain? What are you? The slime will make Quasi's tail slippery, and we can pull him loose. Oh. Try a little lower next time. Hey, so what are you saying? We... Just a little lower. You asked for it. Great work, Slime Eel. Let's pull. I'm free. Thanks, matey. And thanks, Slime Eel. At last, me grandfather's spyglass. And it's all mine. Chow! There's all kinds of plants and animals in there. Looks like this spyglass has become home to many different creatures, Quasi. <sighs> I. Back for more, eh? Wait, just a minute. This spyglass has always been passed down in my family. But now, I'm passing it on to you and these little creatures. Oh, that's mighty kind of you, I'm sure. Take good care of it. 
Yeah, we will. And, um, <laughs> sorry about the slime. Now, go on, get out of here. And after all this time, I finally had the spyglass in my own paws. But when I saw those creatures, I had to put it back. Quasi, you did the right thing. And you can tell everyone you were the one to discover Calico Jack's shipwreck. Besides, it's not like you didn't get any souvenirs at all. Huh? Here. <laughs> <laughs> The Octonauts and the Whale Shark. Hmm. Look at these pictures coming in from Dashy. Ooh, where is she, Captain? She's exploring a strange underwater cave. There's some amazing stuff in here. Let's run these pictures through the computer to get a good look at the whole cave. Uh, looks like there's squid and some tropical seaweed. The cave floor's red and wiggly. Those little rocks hanging down look kind of familiar. That's because they're teeth and the floor is a tongue. How can a cave have teeth and a tongue? Because it's not a cave, Peso. It's... A whale, whale shark! Dashi! Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sort of. You're not in a cave. You're in a whale shark. Get out! Now! Uh oh, closing time! My camera! Dashi! Can you hear me? I'm all right, Captain. I'm. The signal can't reach her now that the mouth is shut. She's trapped inside a whale shark. <laughs> we need to get her out. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, this is a whale shark. No, Tunip, a whale shark isn't a whale. It's the biggest fish in the sea. As big as a school bus. It's so big that Dashy thought its mouth was a cave, and now she's disappeared inside it. How dare that dastardly beast swallow our mate? I'm certain he didn't do it on purpose, Quasi. The whale shark is a filter feeder. A filter feeder doesn't use his teeth for biting. He just opens his mouth and swallows whatever's there. And this whale shark swallowed Dashy. <sighs> we have to get her out. Then you'll need to take this whale shark detector. It flashes when a whale shark's near. Quasi, Peso, into the gulf. Squeak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. <laughs> Strange. According to the map, the whale shark was right here. But I don't see him anywhere. Probably planning a sneak attack. The whale shark detector hasn't flashed once. We'd better get out and take a look around. Peso, you stay here and keep a lookout. Right -o. Quasi, when we find the whale shark, here's our plan. We'll need to open its mouth to slip in and get Dashy. But first, I'll confuse the beast by leaping all around like a heap of spaghetti. Meanwhile, I'll slither through your spaghetti. Captain, Quasi! <gasps> Captain, behind you! It's the... <laughs> whale shark! You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashy! Dashy! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! 
Her tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. Way! Ow! These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashy's hair clipping. But Dashy must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <sighs> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <sighs> we seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hey, guys. It's great to see you. Um, Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> We've made it. All the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. Oh. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside. Cat coming through. This might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Why won't you open your mouth? You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. If we all charge and push together, we can do this. Ready? Ready! Goochie, goochie, go! On your marks. Oh, goochie, 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 go! Get set! Goochie, go! Go! Hey, so! I got the whale shark to say, ah. You freed us! And you're the whale shark's tummy ache? Ah, cute little beast! Not so little. <laughs> I can't decide which of these photos I took to send into National Geographic. They're all amazing. You must send each and every one. 
Actually, not all of them. Ooh, you might want to skip a few. <laughs> 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 The Octonauts and the Flying Fish. Octonauts, my great-grandfather once visited the waters where the octopod sits tonight. Was he an ocean explorer too, Professor? Yes, indeed, Captain Barnacles. He wrote this book about the amazing things he saw in his travels. But there's a mystery in here that I've never solved. Yeah, I love a mystery. Then listen to this, Quasi. It was a beautiful starry night. The water was calm and smooth, when all of a sudden, I saw something leap out of the water. Something remarkable. And that something was a... Hmm. Huh? A what? That's the mystery. The next page in the book is missing, you see. Oh, Professor, we're in the same part of the ocean where your great-grandfather saw something amazing leap out of the water. Maybe we can discover what it was. That would be wonderful, Captain. There's a map in the book that might help you find it. Yeah. Why don't you take it with you? Oh, are you sure? Uh, it's never left my library, but... We'll take good care of it, me hearty. We promise. Don't worry, Professor. I'll put it in my special waterproof satchel, just to be extra safe. All right, Sherrington. Octonaut to the launch bay. <laughs> Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Ah, I don't see a thing. I better check the map in the professor's book to make sure we're in the right place. Okay, but be careful with it. Of course I'll be careful with it. And why don't I hold it for you while you look? I can hold it myself. <laughs> Quasi Shellington, look at this. <laughs> Flying fish. <gasps> Stand back, I've got it. Those flying fish took the professor's book. We're going after them. There it is, Captain. Hold tight. You almost have them, matey. They can't get away from us now. <gasps> We may have a problem catching up to them. When flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap out of the water. <laughs> and look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Ow! Oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin. I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts. We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but, Captain, what about the professor's book? Aye, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed. But first, our new friend needs help. We'll let them know back at the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Hey, so we've brought back a flying fish who needs your help. Aye, Captain. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Now, what seems to be the trouble? It's me tail fin. <sighs> you need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, it feels better already. 
You should stay here and rest a bit before you take off again. OK. Thank you. Captain, the flying fish will be able to fly again in no time. Ooh, flying fish. That must be the remarkable thing that my great-grandfather saw. I'll add that to his book right away. You tell him. No, you tell him. Ah, <sighs> uh, well, Professor, we sort of lost the book. <gasps> you lost it? But, but how? A school of flying fish came leaping out of the water, and before you could say Davy Jones's locker, they took off with your book. Oh, dear. I see. It's gone. But we'll get it back for you. On my honour as an octonaut, we will. But how? Those flying fish got away from us before, but now we know how to catch up to them. We just have to leap out of the water and fly like they do. But, Captain, how in the seven seas are we going to do that? Tweak? I'm on it, Cap. I'll get a little advice from our new friend on how to make the guppy fly. The first thing you have to do is leap out of the water. That means you have to go up very, very fast. Well, I already know how to do that. Wait, that's just the first step. What well, goes up? <laughs> um, oh. Must come down. <laughs> ah, I almost had it. After you leap out of the water, how do you stay in the air? Oh. I spread me pectoral fins like this, so I can glide. Hmm. And I use me tail fin to push myself out of the water. Fascinating. Hmm. Pectoral fins and a tail fin that can move. Got it. Okay. I've added pectoral fins and a tail fin. Fully adjustable. Now, Cap. All we have to do is test her out and see if she'll fly. I'm afraid there's no time for a test, Tweak. Aye, we've got to get the professor's book back. There's not a second to lose. Peso, is our flying fish friend good to go? Time for a checkup. <laughs> Try moving your tail, Finn. How does it feel? Oh, it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> He's ready to fly, Captain. With your help, we'll find your friends and get the Professor's book back. Into the guts, Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Open the Octo Hatch, Tweak. Aye, aye, Cap. And there's the professor's book. Let's see if we can fly too, me hearty. That's incredible. Look at them. Go. Amazing! Ooh, flying fish! I see it! Thanks to you, we can now add the ending to my great-grandfather's adventure. We are ready. Oh, yes. Please. It was a beautiful starry night. The water was calm and smooth when all of a sudden I saw something leap out of the water. Something remarkable. And that something was... A magnificent school of flying fish.